Yo, what is going on guys? It's Gary and Timber guys, a tutorial on how to do some mirror edges style banner. And uh, honestly, this is what it looks like on the screen right now. And I'm going to apologize now about the whole quality and everything like that. I'm using OBS for once. And uh, the only reason is because Camtasia just like stopped working everything. And I don't feel like downloading like Media Encoder and like all this other stuff for After Effects. <clears throat> so pretty much stuck on this software for a little bit until I get Camtasia working again. So uh, basically, this is actually going to be a really easy tutorial for you guys. I would definitely just watch this ahead of time and then go do it on your own time. Because you guys are going to need a couple packs, but I'm pretty sure every kind of stock pack has the stuff I'm going to be using. A couple clouds, you know, we make a lot of the stuff here and a couple flares and stuff. So right now I'm using the Obey pack made by uh, Max, you guys can see right here. Uh, probably one of the best packs I ever purchased, you know, I use it all the time, so good job on that one. So what you want to do basically to start this off is just kind of make a new template. And you can make it YouTube banner size, you guys can make it Twitter header size, I'm going to make it be Twitter header size, which is like 1500 by 500, it's basically the stock size. So the first thing you want to do is just head over to Google and you're going to type in mirror edge wallpaper. And if you guys don't know what Mirror Edge is, it's kind of like a parkour game for uh, console and PC I'm pretty sure, I know Catalyst is coming out for PC. And uh, just a really cool kind of game. You know, it was kind of f big and stuff on PC a while back, and then I started going for mobile games and stuff like that. So it's getting its name back out there, but it's basically what we're going to be looking for. Looking for. So you guys can give it a look around, see which kind of bin you're going to want to use. I'm going to be using this one. It's kind of a, it's a catalyst uh, wallpaper I was talking about before. So after you guys get this, what you want to do is just right-click in the copy of the image and just kind of paste it in. And it's going to be a little bit bigger than you're going to want it to be, but... What you want to want to try to do is just shrink it enough that those red bars in the bottom don't really show because we're going to be replacing that actually. So let's just put it right here or something, something clean. And uh, those red bars, I'm going to just put this up a little bit. These red bars right here are actually really easy to make. I'm going to be showing you guys that. And uh, just a simple like change of the uh, the mode on this. So what you want to do is just make a new layer, grab the uh, polygon tool or whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you guys are going to want to just use a red color, just kind of like click through the paper like that. That shit's a little too big. Start from the bottom left and go to like, not the middle, but like the lower middle. And just kind of make a shape. And then just do the same thing right here. And just do the same thing, right click, fill, and just fill it in with the same color. So after that, you guys can go over right here, and you guys can go to any kind of mode you want. There's darken color, there's just darken, multiply, color burn, uh, linear burn. I'm going to be using linear burn, it's what I use on my actual thing, and then I'm just going to lower it so it's like that. So well, basically this is just like the backbone of just creating the picture a little bit better of what it was, and I should move that up a little bit. So that's basically that. If um, another thing we guys can do is you guys can take this uh, kind of wallpaper and you want to zoom in and to zoom in. Let's just say like at like the arms and legs right here. And this is actually just not something that a lot of people do, but you can do it just to create a nice kind of sense that the girl is popping out. So just kind of cut around the arm. Don't make it too much, and you guys can just obviously bring it together, make a selection, and then hit Control J just to duplicate it. Make a new layer under that, grab a brush, put it to black, and then just kind of do the outside of the arm like that. So after you do that, basically just cut it right here, so all those ex excess like grunge marks just go away, and just lower the opacity to like 20% or something like that, just so it kind of creates like a little like 3d effect like she's in front of something so that's basically it so now what you want to do is hop over to the pack of whatever you guys are using i'm using the obey pack there'll be a link in the description for it and uh if you guys go to like a smoke style part of it or go to like a cloud style you guys are gonna get a bunch of stuff like this so uh, i'm gonna be using the clouds and honestly these are just gonna create a uh, really nice kind of like depth field and just pretty much make it a really nice kind of space cover if that makes sense so just kind of like place them in the banner like that. Nothing too fancy. So uh, now you guys got that, go back to the pack or something. And, oops, wrong one. And you guys can just pretty much look around as I said before and grab like smokes and stuff, more clouds. Uh, I guess put different color clouds. But you want to go to your kind of your uh, flares and stuff. And if you guys have any flares, you guys can use any color. Um, doesn't really matter, just kind of use like a blue or purple to match the wallpaper. 
and just bring it in. It drags in. And you see how this lights up? Just bring it in the corner where like the big light is and just kind of bring it out of scene. So it's like this. So now that you have that, you guys can add a bunch of more things. There's a phase studio has late light leaks and you guys can get these off Google and stuff. And you guys can even add these. These just pretty much bring out a, bring out a lot of color. So you can make it like a lot more like that or something like that. So uh, basically add them wherever you want. You guys can see in the original one that I made, I added them all around. So that's that. So basically we have almost the whole thing done and what you want to do just to kind of create a uh, better understanding of what this game is. If you guys want, you guys can go to, let's just say Google and type in like Mirror Edge PNG, which would be the logo. I have it right here. Just drag it in and just kind of put it in the bottom right hand corner. And you can even just make this like a promo header or something for your portfolio. And just put it in like the bottom right hand corner and make sure it's not touching the bottom. Just make it sure it's up a little bit and away from the corners just so if it gets cut off or anything, it just sits like right up there. So now that you have that, it's time to add your logos and your text and stuff. So I'm going to be doing a logo example and a text example. So I'm going to be grabbing my bear logo right here. I'm just going to shrink that up. And if you guys are interested in getting stickers done for my logo, I'm getting a bunch of them made. And I'm making a video separate on that when I get them in the mail. But if you want to pre-order them, there's going to be pre-ordering allowed in my Twitter account. So just go to my Twitter. Um, my DMs are open, so just DM me about it. And I'll be talking to you guys about how to get them kind of when they get, get released and stuff. But uh, it's not going to be like a couple weeks until they're here, a week or so. So there's really no rush. So now that you guys have that, you guys can either do one of two things. You guys can move it closer. I'm going to shrink it a little bit more. Or you can put a dead smack in the middle. I'm going to put it in the middle kind of vertically, but I'm going to put it more to the side. So it kind of, actually I'm going to put it back in the middle. So it's kind of like this. And then I'm going to make it this black and white just because of the match the background. I'm just going to right click, I'm trying to put this below a couple things. Right click, blending options, put a little bit of a drop shadow on it. And then... What else you can do is let's just say we can go and grab some icons. We can grab like the Twitch one and then, you know, throw the icons on the side and stuff like that. So that's what you guys can do. So if you guys don't have a logo like this and you guys want to put text, I don't really know a good way to put text other than this. If you guys can put like your text right here, let's say I put the word template. I'm going to grab a pretty decent font. I'm going to be using, let's just say, uh, Kubadak. I guess that's a decent font and make it just kind of like a decent size you know really there's nothing too fancy about it and try to put the text kind of in the middle and make it so the text sits like that or that bottom bar and i'm gonna put this to say right here like that and then you guys can have like styles and stuff you guys can make the color white Really, you guys can do anything with the text. This is just basically an example on how it works. So you can put your text like right in the middle like that. So uh, I have a better example, let's just say right here. You guys can see, it's this one. I have the text like that, so really, I gotta figure out where my logo is though. So really, that's where the text would go, it's just kind of placed in the side and stuff. But uh, really, it's not too important. You guys can just use like any of your logos and stuff like that, like I am. So now you guys have that. If you guys want to add more things to it and make it more kind of complex, you guys can do that. This is just kind of like a basic theme. What you want to do is just hit all these layers and hit Control J or Control G, excuse me, and then hit Control J. So it groups it and then you duplicate it. Hit Control E and then hit Control J. So you hit Control G, then J, then E, then J. So you grouped it all together, you duplicated it, then you merged it, and then you duplicated that again. Go to filter, blur, you guys can go to Gaussian blur, lens blur. I'm going to be using Gaussian blur just because it's a little easier and stuff. And just kind of erase kind of main parts and stuff like that. You guys can merge it back together. Make a new one. You guys can do a bunch of other stuff like you guys can put a little bit of a motion blur. And if you're going to be using motion blur, you want to erase almost every single thing except for the corners of the wallpaper. Like that. All right, and then you guys merge this together again. And then what you can do is just go to like right here, the adjustment layers, go to exposure. You guys can mess with your gamma correction to make it a little bit brighter, a little bit darker. So I'm gonna put it like this. 
and then just merge these all. And let's just say I want to do one more thing. You can duplicate it, and then you guys can add one last blur, but this time use lens blur. And just really blur it out, and just kind of erase a lot. So you just have like a main focus of the logo and the person. So that's basically it. And then you guys can have whatever you want. You guys can add your social links, as I said before. You guys can add a bunch of stuff right here. It only took about 10 minutes to do, nothing too crazy. And uh, really, there's other things you guys can do. You guys can add like flares and stuff. There's really, if you go to render, you guys can go to like lens flare, put one in like, the top right hand corner, and really just bring out all the stuff and put it together. So that's basically what you guys can do for this. Really, you guys can do anything and just a bunch of other stuff you guys can do. Let's see, we can go to obey the pack. Nature, what's in here? Hmm. What's this? I'm gonna just drag this in. We can make it work. It has nothing to do with the banner, but we'll make it work. You guys can make like a little collage now. Look at that. Fancy, fancy. Alright, that's basically it for the tutorial today. If you guys want to purchase any stickers in the description below, just hit me up in the Twitter. And uh, this guy's going to just DM me. And if you guys want to pay before it, they all come and stuff and get yours like pretty much set before you have anything happens to your money. Definitely do that. I can keep track of all your orders and all the stuff that people pay for. So basically, that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the tutorial, let me know in the comments below and leave a thumbs up. For the people on Snapchat, they saw it first. So definitely add me on Snapchat as well. You know, you guys can get like secret deals, secret discounts, see like a. Uh, basically stuff like this and see a lot of other things so that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did leave a thumbs up as i said before and thank you guys so much for 60 or 7600 subscribers we're only 400 away from 8k so i think for 8k i'm doing a q a but i'll let you guys know in the later in the future but other than that i hope you guys enjoy your day so far and i'll see you guys later on peace out